Jacobs. Give it up for them. Good morning. Happy Mother's Day. Good morning. My name is Kirsten Jacobs, and I'm the Wombolan director here at Northbridge. Um, this has been my church home for more than 10 years now, and I can tell you why. We had tried the church out a couple times, and we were playing at the playground one day. My 13-year-old, now 13-year-old, she was three at the time, um, and she started singing these songs and spouting off memory verses, and I was like, what is happening? Um, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe what she was picking up on at that young age, and that's where, when I knew this was where my family needed to be. And now I have the privilege and honor of spending each Sunday with families and their babies and preschoolers in Wombaland. We strive to teach our little ones that God made them, God loves them, and Jesus wants to be their friend forever before they move on to Upstreet um, in elementary school. One of the amazing things that lockdowns have brought us here at Northbridge is our very own little baby boom. <laughs> we have 14 babies that we're dedicating today, which is so exciting. And I have the honor of introducing these families with you. The first family is the Canaan family and their little Keegan James. You guys can come on up. Next, we have the Gunderson family and little Camden Patrick. Next is the Long family and Nora Margaret. I don't, I'm not guaranteeing that the kids aren't gonna be running around everywhere. <laughs> I told them, let them go. And lastly, we have the Weicker family and their little Theodora Quinn and Elle Catherine. Now I'm gonna hand it off to Rob, who's gonna explain a little bit more about baby dedication. Over the last couple of years, you probably got a lot of reminders that parenting is difficult. I think we all know that parenting can be very, very difficult. And the truth is, good parenting doesn't happen by accident. We have to be intentional. And so that's what baby dedication is all about. It's setting a foundation for the future of these children. And so the families up here have done a lot in the process to prepare for baby dedication. They've thought about what their family values are. They've talked about how to prioritize their marriage and how to set a foundation of faith for the future of these kids. And so we're gonna ask them a bunch of questions and you're actually a part of this too because as a faith community, you play a role in the future of these kids. You know, some of you in the future may be a Wamba Land leader. You may be an Upstreet leader. If you give financially, you're investing in the future of their lives and so we just want to thank you, but we have a question for you too as the friends and family of Northbridge. Will you be committed to the future growth of these kids? So we're going to go over some of these questions. Let's do it. Okay, parents, since you are starting your journey as a parent to this little one, we will enter the family covenant. I will begin by asking the parents four questions, and I will ask everyone else in the room to respond. Parents, do you recognize that your relationship with your child is a sacred trust which requires an investment of quality time and unconditional love? If so, answer, I do. <laughs> do you assume the primary responsibility to teach your child the spiritual truths and values of scripture? If so, answer, I do. Do you commit to praying consistently for the physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being of your child? If so, answer, I do. Will you promise to create an environment within your home which demonstrates the fruit of the Spirit of Christ? If so, answer, I do. And this one is for everyone here. Will all of you witnessing these vows do all in your power to help these parents uphold the commitments they have made to their children? If so, answer, we will. All right, let's pray. <laughs> Father God, we love you. We thank you for our future generations and the stories that you are going to be able to tell through their lives and their families' lives. We pray for these families we give, that you would give them strength, that you would give them hope in difficult times. And Father, I pray for the future faith of these kids that they would learn to trust you as their forever friend. We love you. We thank you. We ask all these things in your name. 
Amen. Let's give it up one more time for the families as they head back to their seats.